I'm Larry Troca, and today I want to talk about starting horses and what's the ideal age to start them. Um, now on your screen is a video of a green two-year-old stallion owned by one of my clients. And I mean, he's a good looking colt. And you might just want to watch some of the things he's doing. Um, you know, it'll give you a kind of an idea of what we do with two-year-olds. Now, you might want to click the closed caption button on the video player so you can read along while I'm talking. And, you know, during my horse training career, I've started horses at just about every age. Uh, the youngest was a long yearling. I didn't want to do it. I mean, I just didn't want to do it. But I was ordered to do it by the man I worked for. You know, he was a top trainer. You know, sometimes you got to do what you're told to do when you work for somebody. You know, and I told him, you know, the colt was too young, you know, and it would be a big mistake. And it definitely was. With, within a month, the colt was sore. Um, and the oldest horse I ever started was a 15 year old Morgan stallion. Now that horse was a pleasure to work with. Uh, he was in training for the first Morgan horse cutting fraternity. You know, who, who would ever guess that the Morgan horse association would want to have a cutting fraternity, but at that time they did. Um, and with only six months of riding, that horse went there to that fraternity and he won it. You know, there was no age limit, so he, he could go at any age. But I thought that was pretty darn cool. You know, a uh, 15-year-old Morgan Stallion with only six months of riding and he wins the thing. Uh, you know, what a good horse. What a good horse. You know, I just thought that was pretty cool. And I'll tell you what, uh, I don't want to get off track here, but, uh, you know, I've, I've seen some really good Morgan horses. I mean, some good ones. You know, Morgan horses that were cutting horses, reining horses, pleasure horses, you know, all around horses. But nowadays, I'm not sure they aren't ruining that breed. You know, the last Morgan show I watched, you know, they were big on crossing them with saddlebreds. You know, that, I just think that's a mistake in my opinion. You know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I sure didn't like seeing it. Um, Anyway, let's get let's get back on topic here. Now, one of the one of the the most common questions I get asked a lot by you know people who don't know much about horses uh, is why are most colts started as two year olds? Let me repeat that. Why are most colts started as two year olds? And then they'll follow it up with, "Don't you know horses aren't fully developed until they're six? I believe you're abusing a horse starting him that young. So, yeah, when I hear that, I know I'm dealing with a person who's never started horses for a living. The reality is, the older a horse is, the more difficult they are to start. In, in general, you know, uh, it's actually easier on the horse to start them at two than when they're older and set in their ways. And like I say, of course, there's exceptions to this rule. You know, some horses are easy to start no matter how old they are. But what uninitiated people don't understand is that most two-year-olds, you know, the training is done at the walk and the trot. And it's usually only a 15-minute ride on soft ground. You know, there's very, very little stress involved. You know, at two, that, that colt, he just accepts being started as part of life. You know, he's not set in his ways. He just thinks well, being saddled and being ridden is just part of, you know, what you do. But when you take an older horse, a five, six-year-old horse, you know, they're, they're set in their ways and they're thinking, hey, what is this? Putting a saddle on me trying to get on me to ride me. I mean, I've never had to do this before. You know, I, I, this isn't fair. I don't like it. And so they fight it. And, you know, the two-year-old is so easy on them because they just accept it. The older horses, it's tougher on them because you got to do a lot more to get them to give up and accept it. And a lot of them <laughs> will really put up a fight uh, resisting it. You know, I remember really well 
the job I took on a big horse ranch in Montana, you know, when I was young, um, I was hired to start eh, approximately 50 head of horses, you know, ranging in age from two years old to six years old. And I mean, those horses were wild now. <laughs> I mean, they weren't even halter broke. Uh, and the only time that they were ever handled was when they were branded as babies. So, you know, they associated people with bad things, right? Um, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that job was a nightmare, a dangerous job, but it also taught me a lot. Um, I was able to get all the two-year-olds broke to ride and a few of the three-year-olds. However, I wasn't able to get any of the older horses safe to ride. I mean, not one. I was getting bucked off six to eight times a day and getting bucked off on ground that was as hard as concrete, you know. <laughs> so so when I hear people say that, uh, you know, the, the response is, well, if you had taken more time to get those horses gentle, they would have been fine. You could have got them, you could have got them broke. Uh, an extra three or four months of groundwork would have worked wonders. And I respond to that by, well, if you were a horse's owner and you were paying a trainer $1,000 a month, you know, which is the going rate. Well, actually, it's more than that now. Would you be happy to discover that after four months of training, your horse hasn't even been ridden yet? Now, there's a few owners that might be okay with that, but the vast majority of owners would go, no way, I've already paid you $4,000 for what? You're not even on my horse yet, you know? And, you know, the average person who doesn't know horses, they just don't get that. They don't understand that. They're, they're thinking the horse trainer has plenty of time to do whatever he wants. Well, that's not the case. That owner is paying that trainer by the month and he expects results. So, you know, to be taken three or four months of just jacking around, most owners just aren't going to go for that. Now, I remember, it was, actually, it wasn't that long ago, I had a client bring me a 10-year-old mare uh, that hadn't been touched. I mean, she was wild now. I mean, you couldn't get within 30 feet of her without her taking off. And I actually videoed me starting this mare. Um, the first thing I had to do was get her where I could touch her. And uh, man, that was a major feat all in its own. But like I say, I videoed every step of the way and it's on one of my training courses on my website. But, but even after three or four months of working with her, she was still wild as, as all get out and I I got her where I could ride her, but I could never trust her. You know, we'd be riding along and all of a sudden she would just explode like a keg of dynamite. And, you know, luckily I've been doing this long enough where I know how to save myself, you know, by taking her head away and getting control. But I'll tell you what, the average horse owner, you know, should never get on a horse like that. I mean, if you get hung up in a stirrup, you can kiss your life goodbye because you're not going to survive it. Um, but anyway, to get back on topic, you know, we start horses as two-year-olds because they give it up real easy. They're, they're more willing. It's much less stressful for them because they just accept it as a part of life. When you start a horse that's older and set in his ways, it's much harder on them because they don't want to give it up. They, you know, they don't want to give in to the new training. Uh, they just expect that, hey, things are always going to be the way they are and they don't want to change their ways. So that's why we start horses as two-year-olds. It's just because it's much easier on them. If this is the type of training that you're interested in, you know, go to my website and uh, check out the training videos and online training courses that I have there. Um, you know, I think you might find something you like. All righty. Take care.